Hi everyone and welcome to week one of Vector Illustration. I'm going to go ahead and take you through the announcement and what's to be expected of the week. So this week we're talking about a brief history of illustration as it relates to the changing application over time. So some historical applications for illustration. We'll also be exploring an overview of Illustrator's interface, tools, functions, which facilitate familiarity with the software. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So the expectations for the week under the course module, you will see here. You have to do a reading this week for chapters one and two. You have um, a little video to watch and then you have a little LinkedIn course to watch. Um, that's pretty much one of the textbooks for the classes as well. Um, I'm also at the end of this video gonna give you some extra lectures from myself. I have um, a couple of bonus lectures. I've taught um, Vector for quite a long time, so I have some bonus stuff for um, this course in a bunch of different places that I've taught. So we'll go over that in a little bit. Um, it's a light week, so we're starting off with a discussion thread. Discussion threads, if you are new to um, this style of environment, your initial post is due on Thursdays. So that means you have all the way up until Thursday to post your initial thread, meaning like the first thread. And then you also have a replies portion where you get points. So you'll have all the way up until the end of the week to reply back to two students. So we're gonna talk about that one first. So the discussion thread is just called getting started this week, or it's light this week. Um, you will be answering the questions, you know, list your major or minor, um, you know, describe the experience that you have with any design software or materials. It could be Illustrator, it can be the complete Adobe Suite, just helps me get kind of a feel for where you're at as well as an individual. Um, and talk about the, your creative process, so maybe how you start a project, you know, maybe you go to Pinterest first, maybe you sketch out ideas first. Um, you can be as brief um, on number three as you wish because many of you may not even have a really good design process yet. Um, so you'll, this is your initial post by Thursday and then you can respond re back to two students by the end of the week. Okay, you also have a quiz. Um, the quiz you have again until the end of the week, it is only a single take quiz, meaning you don't have multiple attempts. So, you know, be sure to sit down and take it, you know, in an environment where you won't be interrupted or have to walk away or anything like that. Okay, so super light. Let me go ahead and go back to our announcement. So I'm gonna show you a few things that I'm giving to you um, on top of the content that's built into week one. Like I said, um, you know, graphic design is my major. It's what I do for a living. Um, so I'll be giving you um, a lot of different resources that might not be built into the module section. I usually build it into my announcement section so that I can change them out as I wish. So the first three things here, I'm gonna go ahead and open up in my tabs. I like to do my favorite thing called try to ca crash Firefox. Okay, so the first one I'm giving you is getting started with Adobe Illustrator. So if you've never used the software before, like many of you have, um, this is a pretty long video that I did. Um, I did a live demo um, in one of my classes and I've kept the video over time because it's just really good. But there's a lot of background noise sometimes of students asking me questions because it's live so you know just bear with me it's 32 minutes long if you want to watch it go for it um, it's just bonus learning stuff the next one that i give uh, i talk about how to open a file how to save a file and also how to export pdfs and then the last one that i gave for the week is just the differences between bitmap and vector so i go in depth you know i show a couple of images and just talk about you know the the main differences between Photoshop and Illustrator. Okay, so these are my bonus lectures. I also gave some extra learning resources. I will open those up and show you what those are. So Life in Vector is a great little site. It kind of shows, I consider the end game um, look to Illustrator. I think that when you're starting off, a lot of people think it's just flat art and it definitely is not that. The 3D capabilities that it has now is amazing. I mean, these are all vector drawings. When you hover over them, you will see the outline mode. So meaning the vector, um, the outline mode that it is in Illustrator. A lot of them are gradient mesh. 
but you, as you scroll down you'll see some of his newer work but it's pretty neat to see kind of like where he goes with his process of you know how he starts it and then how he builds his layers so this one's really fun there's also a download section there's a really good gradient mesh tutorial which i realize it's only week one most of you will not be diving into anything like that but it's a great little site for tutorials as well the next one i gave is spoon graphics um, again a lot of the things that i'm giving you are for your own learning um, they're not specifically requirements for the course, but I try to always give you some extra learning because like I said, this week is super light. So they have a great freebie section. Um, you can download most of the freebies here and dissect them and kind of see how they were built. Some of them are Photoshop, some are Illustrator. Um, he gives out a lot of really good brushes that are free, um, and I'm all about giving you guys free stuff. So you can go ahead and look through it and see what you like. Surface textures, that's a really good one. He also has a tutorial section, and he talks about all kinds of things that are kind of current in the industry, um, really fun things with typography, again, Photoshop and Illustrator sometimes. Type Depot, um, typography is definitely one of my favorite things about design. So I try to give you some other sites besides just Adobe Fonts or the hated DeFont. Um, so Type Depot is, um, it's got some really high end typography on here, but there's also some stuff that's not specifically free, but I do consider it pretty cheap for type. You don't have to buy anything specifically for this course, but this is just for your own learning for when you start doing maybe some freelance design work and you can see the specific font name, how many fonts you're getting, and then how much it costs depending on what you need it for. I think most of the ones that are for sale are like per person, meaning you can use it on one laptop. Um, but there are some free ones like this one. This one is zero dollars. I believe you do have to make an account now. They do like to keep track of this stuff. Um, it's cool because you can also test the font. So you can see what it looks like if it's something that's going to fit your needs. Um, and again, this one is free. It says zero dollars. So if you go to buy, it'll probably add it to your cart and just have a download link. So this is a good one too. Of course, there's the good old Adobe site for learning Illustrator. Um, they have some featured tutorials on here, like how to use repetition. Um, adding tension and contrast a lot of these things are just basic design principles but you know if you have some free time and you want to peruse them and then the last one that I gave is creative block um, I gave this specific one on here for Illustrator but there's a lot of really fun things on here you know I know Adobe is expensive for now but you know if you end up wanting to use other things after this class besides Illustrator there's a good article here on the different things that are um, actu actually alternatives to Illustrator. Corel Draw is still around. Um, it talks about Procreate. I use Procreate a lot so if you've never seen it it's got a really good breakdown on that and there's a actually really good fun thing on Disney right now which is super cute. Okay, and that is all the information for this week. So everybody have a fantastic first week and I'll see you online.